Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. We will show the process for Taiwan International Graduate Program Scholarships for session 2026-2027. How to apply for this program for postgraduate scholarships and PhD scholarships as well. We will show the full process for this. Before that, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do follow us on Instagram page as well. The link for this scholarship program for Taiwan can be found in the video description below or you can check out about section of the YouTube links are also given there. Also on Instagram page you can ask our team through message you can send message for the link they will send you the link and uh, you can also check out the story of the Instagram or bio of the Instagram for the links. Meanwhile, you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmilook.com and you can apply for this particular scholarship there. So please stay tuned for this information and we will show the full process of application. This scholarship is hosted in uh, Taiwan. It is for postgraduate. There is around $15,000 of stipend per year. Deadline is February 1st, 2026 host country is taiwan no eyelids is required for this and uh, this is uh, the scholarship hosted in taiwan and this is one of the best opportunity taiwan international graduate program and for 2026 you can apply for this so in order to start application you should have the international citizenship and completed a bachelor's degree have good academic standing English proficiency language that's you have previously studied your bachelor's degree in English language and that's it so benefits of this scholarship there is no registration fee absolutely free no tuition fee will be there there is also no application fee then students will get stipend of around uh, uh, Taiwanese dollar of 40,000 per month and uh, tax free 34,000 and for first year and this is around dollar 1250 and 15000 per year so this will be your scholarship stipend for one year and likewise it will be for students who will be performing well for the other years as well required documents for this taiwan international graduate scholarship is graduate certificate of a bachelor's degree transcripts of a bachelor's degree passport and english language proficiency three recommendation letters cv sop and abstract of your thesis if you're applying for phd academic achievements if you have previously and any other supporting documents like gre scores publications any awards you have you can submit them as well how do you apply for this simply scroll down at the end you can see this click here to apply button so click on this button to start the application once you click on that you can see tigp online application portal taiwan international graduate program online application 2026 is open and it has previously started so we are the first on the youtube to bring you this video so please watch carefully and these are the subjects that you can also apply separately but right now we'll be going for the scholarship that will host these subjects now you have to scroll down at then you can see apply button given by default click on this apply button here once you click on that apply button it will take you to this login page for the first time users you have to click on this not a member click on register button here once you click on register button you have to enter your email enter your password re-enter the password enter this verification code here and then simply sub submit here once you submit this you will receive a link to verify your email address so you have to click on this link to verify i already have verified so i'll simply log in with the details here i have my username and password that i have generated during the process i'll simply sign in for the first time when you sign in you can see the dashboard here you can see application program application then you have to submit personal information education background english proficiency supporting documents these four are mandatory these are ex uh, these two are non mandatory academic achievement and work experiences then a recommendation letter is again mandatory and survey is also mandatory now you have to choose which application you wish to submit bachelor's master's phd and others so we'll go with the masters here you are going for joint admission program or you are going for just individual program i'll go with this one masters you have to select which masters you wish to apply for 
you can see the list of programs i'll go with the artificial intelligence of artificial intelligence of things this program then i will have to choose the university here you can see college of electrical engineering and computer science national taiwan university and you can enter the potential to supervisor if you have already uh, communicated with any of them then i'll click on save so you can see this one is done so next we'll click on personal information so we'll submit personal information about this first is the uh, name so you have to mention the name here first name last name and then email address then citizenship as per the list here then you have to skip you have to skip these two so you have to skip these taiwanese national id enter your passport number as an international student you should have a passport a valid passport and a date of birth this should be also filled with uh, care because if you make mistakes here you won't be able to rectify them later so just submit it then select the gender then select your marital status then phone number and then country code of the phone number and then phone number after that permanent address mention your permanent address address line 1 address line 2 address line 3 and then postal code then city and town then state after that select the country and then current address if you it is same you can tick this then emergency contact information relation to the applicant then telephone number country code and then phone number after that same address as if it is your sibling you can mention the same then are you an overseas chinese student no are you applying to other universities we are not have you ever applied to this program so no we have not have you ever applied to the tigp international internship program no we have not if tigp is unable to grant admission due to the increasing intense competition would you like to consider a full-time research position offered by a faculty member when applicable you can mention yes so there's an another option if scholarship is not available faculties have some research projects they can consider you on their own fundings so i have clicked on save now click on education background so add your bachelor's degree here if you have bachelor's degree you have to mention that name of the university you have location of the institution you have completed your bachelor's degree then select the date of entrance you have uh, enrolled for the program so i had completed a four-year program i'll just mention the date and then dates of completion so i have mentioned that then major and university ranking us world ranking you can mention that and then your gpa after that uh, you have to upload your diploma certificate here or degree certificate so let me upload that so one by one you have to upload all this here i have uploaded then upload the transcripts so one by one you have to upload that then uh, the program of the courses that you have completed so you have to mention that and language of instruction you have to mention english so that you can be exempted from the proficiency click on save it might take few seconds to load so you have to wait for that this is your bachelor's degree if you have done my master's degree as well you can add that else you can skip this it's not mandatory so you can see uh, we can click on acknowledge above education statement click on save and now click on english proficiency let's uh, your highest degree is masters so you have to mention the degree here so if you're applying for phd you have to enroll this as well but for uh, postgraduate simple postgraduate degrees you just have to fill this so 
and university ranking cgpa and if you have diploma and degree certificate of masters as well if you have completed masters you have to and uh, upload them as well if you are enrolled so you can mention currently not available else you can just submit them so there is also one issue here so if uh, you have only bachelor's degree you want to apply for master's degree there should be an deletion option of this so i'll just click on save and later we'll see if we can delete this information as well because some of students might not be having master's degree as they are just complete their bachelor's they want to enroll for the postgraduate degree here so let's see that in next step till then we have to fill in this information as I already have one master, so I'll be just submitting that here. You can see there's a delete option, you can delete as well. So your highest degree is master's, but we our highest degree is bachelor's only. So you can see we where we can mention here and upload that we have completed the proficiency certificate in English. You can see click on save. You have to upload that degree here. So then we have supporting documents. Uh you have to click on that now you have to upload SOP one by one you have to upload click on upload then this is optional GRE scores then uh, your CV click on upload So it's done click on save then click on recommendation letters you can send invitation edit remove or resend so we can click on add new referee first name your last name select the country then official email address then a uh, phone number type country code you have to mention that here then select the title position institution and relation to you so you have to mention all details here click on save now you can see so we have to mention so click on send button here so that you are about to send an information click on send you can see sending done and one of three so now you have to add two more references here so let me add two more then we'll back so i have added all the three references here you can see i have completed this section now click on survey so so how did you heard about this so you have to mention this you can just mention internet or any other news you can see select that click on save and now you can see all the sections done you can click on preview button so that you can see the preview application here all the information is here so you can cross check details if you need anything to edit you can just edit else you can click on submit button here so that your application can be submitted you can see all details are there and it will be submitted in the meantime if you have anything to edit you can edit that else you can just submit the application there so we have clicked on them it might take few seconds after preview and you can see all the information here on the dashboard if you wish to edit or uh, modify any information before submission you can do that after submission you cannot modify or edit any information here so i have done click it on submit again so let's wait for that here you can see we have submitted our application application number has been generated you can see you may download the pdf of the application as well also you can check the information that you have submitted and on the left hand side application review is there recommendation letters have been only uh sent to the reviewers if they uh, recommend you within the timeline your application will be accepted then the document revision if any document has to be resubmitted it will be opened for you then the primary evaluation you can see results will be declared secondary evaluation dates are there 
then dom and visa application everything can be fixed through this portal here so you can see visa will be also issued through the same portal uh your dom your accommodation will be also from the same portal and the final result will be also from the same portal you don't have to go anywhere this is the one unified portal where all your application results visa application uh then dom application or accommodation application scholarship application everything will be submitted here also final your uh, accounts will be mentioned here so that you can check scholarships at the time of the acceptance so that's it for today i hope you have cleared all the doubts if you still have any doubt you can just ask us in the comment section in the meantime you will also receive an email that your application has been submitted it's under review so you have to check that uh, you can check out the portal to uh, this link here and you can keep updated yourself with the scholarship of the results so deadline is february 1st 2026 you should apply within that and uh, that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the session please visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmetook.com all the information is available there you can check our video description below link is also given there on the instagram bio or our website fullscholarships.net with this i am signing off for today have a nice day ahead